In this module, you will learn about the transverse and longitudinal waves. Sound waves in air are longitudinal waves. To understand what that implies, we need to first understand the two categories of waves. In transverse waves, particles of the medium vibrate up and down about their mean position, which is in the direction perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. Suppose we fix one end of a string and vibrate the other end in a direction perpendicular to the length of the string. The wave pattern that is seen is that of a transverse wave. When a pebble is thrown onto the surface of still water, it creates small ripples. These ripples propagate through the expanse of the water as transverse waves. In fact, if observed closely, tiny particles and dried leaves on the water surface move up and down when ripples are formed. These particles do not go forward with the wave, but just move up and down at their place about a mean position. This figure depicts the propagation of a transverse wave. In longitudinal waves, particles of the medium vibrate in the direction of wave propagation. The wave pattern set in a slinky is an example of a longitudinal wave. Let's recall the tuning fork experiment. In sound waves produced by a tuning fork, particles of the medium vibrate in a direction parallel to the direction of wave propagation. This produces compressions and rarefactions in the wave, similar to that in the pattern shown by the slinky. Thus, sound waves in air are longitudinal waves. 